So it's time to return to the Terai region here on Sundarpaden. This time, we're gonna do so in the afternoon. That's not something we've messed with too much, but we do have a drink zone down here for Barazinga 12 to 1500. Primarily, we've just hunted in the morning. I wanna try hunting in the afternoon, and there should be everything from Barasinga, Munchak, Water Buffalo, and of course, this looks to be Tiger Territory, so we're gonna be ready to go. I was just getting ready to maybe shoot that Barasinga. We've got a Tiger already here somewhere. And typically, they do come from behind you. But I don't hear it yet. Man, if it's behind us, this is a horrible spot. I think it is too. I hear... Is that its tracks right there? I just saw something. There it is. Just a little level one female. And we're gonna go ahead and try to get that taken out. I wonder where we hit it. Because it went down pretty fast. And forget about the Barasinga. We already have a tiger attack. We've spent a bunch of time up in the mountains the last couple of videos. And I wanted to get down here as much for tigers as the other species. And I think we're off to a pretty good start. So just up a long shot in front of the heart. And hopefully there's going to be plenty more of that before we're done with this hunt. Now we've got two different Max Wade Esmond Barasinga tracks here. They're almost side by side. But there are two different ones. And hopefully they're going to be drinking like somewhere down here. They certainly weren't at that last lake. And the rest zone is right here in front of us. I guess we'll try to figure out their tracks. But I'm going to hope they're just moving where we want to go. Looks like that might be the case. I'm thinking this ought to be the herd. So that's not even a max estimate. Four? And he's up to 201. What else do we have in here? There's a... Wait, that is a max estimate? They have to be almost exactly the same weight. I'm thinking this guy's going to be barely like 240, 241. This guy will be like 243. And that's the other max estimate. Little bit disappointing, to be honest. <laughs> when we saw this one, I thought the other two were going to be way bigger. Let's see if we can get them both with the 308. And possibly that one too, just to check the difference. That's the one that we want to get an extra shot on. Oh, that hill's maybe just in the way enough. Wait. Did I shoot the wrong one? Because that one was up to 280. Were there three? We got this one. And even, you know, that for... He's 252 kilo. That's a 190 score, 30 shy of diamond. That's an awesome looking Barasinga. I really like that red variant too. The other one we shot was like the dark brown, or at least the one I think we meant to shoot. And yeah, that should be the right one. He's a 193. So both right in that same size range. Actually, from the side, they don't look as impressive, but front on, which is kind of the angle we were viewing that other one, that does look pretty solid. So we got him in the right lung. And then... That's not tier 3 pressure yet. I'm not sure a, an animal that goes up to nearly 300 kilo, a 308 flesh hit? I don't know that that kills it, but yeah, there were three max wood estimate fours in that group. Oh, no way. I know it doesn't look like it at first glance. That is a rare water buffalo. That's the orange variant. Forget about that black variant. By the way, this zeroing thing is a bug. If you hit the zeroing button, it comes back. But initially, your zeroing doesn't show up, and in those moments, when you gotta make sure you get the shot, you need to know what it's at. So, gonna need to get a little bit closer here. He was a six, there's a four. There he is. That's basically perfect. And if the first shot wasn't long, the second shot certainly will be. That is really cool. So, there you go. Orange fur type on the disturbed veg. And I don't think he should have gotten all that far. He's laying right there. And before we go into the harvest screen, I want to just take a look at it here, you know, live in the game itself. I feel like there may be some more. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. Look at, like, the orange, like, the little almost orange flecks throughout the fur. Before, I think it was just the underbelly. You can see it a bit in the face. If you look closely there, they are way, way better. I think he's going to make gold, too. Did they have the what? Nah, they didn't have that either. Like, going down the center of the head and then all the way down the spine, that white fur? Or potentially gray, depending on what the lighting's doing there? These are really cool now. Oh, he's not a gold. He's too shy, dang it. <laughs> that would be the way, but those are 
much, much improved. Right lung both times. Almost a thousand kilo. That's cool to see. I like how they kind of did it with an orange gradient. You got it on the legs there. You see it on the front legs too. Every water buffalo that we encounter is so much improved. That is actually really neat to see though. Definitely going to tax that. And we'll continue on our way. I was actually trying to get down to this lake anyway. Because I think it's Mud Jack drink time. There we go. Got three down there. A level three. A level two. And a female. Do we have any others? I find that they're kind of similar to tigers, I guess, in that sense. Not a lot in any one area. Whole bunch here, though, which is good. And I guess maybe... Can we get at least the two and the three on this side? That should be doable. So if we line this up, he's about 178 away. Not going to be ideal for the 22H, but it should be possible. Probably going to let him lift his head just to make sure. Try to send around through his lungs. Should start to drop any second now. And he is, so that'll work. And this one, we'll probably have to get a little bit closer. So we're into about 130, and I think he's actually going to turn right now. At that range, maybe we can punch through. We'll try it. And if that doesn't get along, we'll probably just hit him with the 308, but he's going down. So that'll be two male Mutt Jack from down here, and I think that's one more than we've killed total so far. We see that Fang there once again, and the really unique antler for these little guys. He's a 30 scoring silver, so the variety in scoring must not be that much. Because Diamond's 35.2, Gold is basically 31, and we killed one that I think was a match with estimate 4, that might have been 33 or somewhere in there. This guy being a silver at 30 shows that the antlers are, for the most part, going to be pretty similar. So that's actually good to know. And our other one's going to be way over on the other side. And you know, the other thing with these guys, I'm not sure they have any, like, common fur variations. All the ones that we've shot and seen, and to be fair, I think this is only the third one we've actually shot, but all the Disturbed Veg and stuff has always been that red variant. Hopefully there's going to be some cool rares and stuff, and I'd like to see maybe some uncommons or whatever, but none thus far. So, it's 1630. I guess we'll kind of scoot up to the river and maybe move along there. Now, that's interesting. That is a max estimate for which we haven't seen in a while. But two males again here, and that guy just about got out of our sight immediately. So, we got to be a gold, and I'm going to assume they're going to want to cross right there. So, we'll try to get a 22H round in him. Kind of a weird distance. I think we'll zero for a hundred. Did that end up finding his market? Did. I mean, at this point, maybe we can get that one too. We're gonna hold off on this because he should eventually slow to a trot, and I think we actually have a chance at getting the lungs as opposed to, you know, just probably getting a really poor hit. Otherwise, the only question is, did that actually get there? And I'm not sure we're gonna find out till we get the blood because once he's behind that grass. He is just gone. There's the female. That would be encouraging. By the way, there's another one. So all along, the river might have been the place to hunt for them. We do have our four floating back here. So potentially our biggest or second biggest. He's a 32. So not bad. And you can see the antlers are bigger. I feel like even the pedicles are maybe a little bit bigger than the other ones. I really like them. I want to get a diamond so bad. I want to see what the difference is. <laughs> Got another floater, by the way. And even that female that Warren called, they're all trying to cross right over in here. And you've seen, too, that red fur type every single time. And the good news is, we did go three for three there. Got that guy lung and liver much like the four. And yet, just again, you see that right around 30 scoring for the threes. And then fours are more 32, 33 in that area. Pretty consistent, and to be fair, when that's what you gotta work with, I guess that's what you'd expect. What is the true score for them? There's a decent bit there. It's main beam length, which is the primary score, so the diamonds you'd expect to see longer antlers. Brow tines, circumferences, spread, and then middle beam circumference. I guess that's like here? It's kinda interesting. A little bit different than most antler species, but I like it. Well, it would seem that we are all the way through Munchak drink time and actually into Blackbuck drink time and I'm just realizing I don't think I have an ethical weapon for them. 
so we might as well use the grand hair rifle? The female black buck, like we could shoot this one, but they look so much improved. We're actually gonna go ahead and try to get that. So if we zero for 150, hopefully we can even hit it. Pretty sure she drops in her drags, but with such limited light, kind of hard to tell. And really what we should have done when aiming down sights was turned our headlamp on. That probably would have helped, but considering the hunting pressure, I think it worked out just fine. She did indeed go absolutely nowhere. That is the brown variant. Just the face and everything looks so much better. That's really cool to see. Even the females are significantly improved, much like the water buffalo. And of course, stand no chance against a 577 450 round. Oh my goodness. Another level 5 no guy. This guy doesn't have as good an estimate. 1997? We're not far from where we got the other one. I'm checking like all these spots for tigers. Because that's what we did for nil guy. And I don't think we've been in this area at least early morning. And I'm not sure we're going to be again. Look at all these guys. I think we might have found them. We've got a nervous nil guy down there. And our max system attraction leading right in that direction. If that's the case, oh, and another one there. I think they might just be below that hill, at least some of them. Yeah, there's a three. I was about to say they're in a really good spot, but I think I'm going to take that back. That's going to be tough. Probably going to have to try to get around them. So finally, we're caught up with the group of them. And there's our five down there. So if we can just maybe get him to stop for a second, I want to get him with the grand hair. So we're going to zero this for 75. And we'll probably have to move around here a little bit just to get his attention. He's real wide set, so I'm optimistic that he can make it, but first, gotta make sure we get the shot. I think we may have hard shot him, I'm not sure. I haven't hard shot one yet, despite the massive hearts they have, and that was actually the point there. The health went down really fast, though I maybe would have expected an insta drop if we did get the heart. I guess we'll soon find out, but could we have our second diamond nil guy here on Nepal? I know for sure looking at that, they are not as massive horns as the first one. Those stood out so much. These aren't quite that, but they are wider set and maybe that makes the difference. So fingers crossed as we claim this, he is a 96.19. Is he bigger? No, I think the other one's 97. 294 kilo. We did shoot over the heart. I'm okay with that. Definitely rather safe than sorry. The only thing I would have maybe changed is hoping for the other fur. But I do really like that blue variant. I think that's the more common. I think the brown is... I would say it's also a common, but it's kind of the variation. I think this is the normal one, let's say. But man, those horns are so cool. There's variety for sure. Like, when we go and compare our other one, I think it's going to be notably different. I'm going to get one screenshot for the road here. That's insane to me. In the same area, too. So, I think we will reset back to Tiger Drink Time, because as predicted, that took forever. It was like 6-something when we spotted him at 7.45 now. Let's try that one more time going up through here. And there is, in fact, a Tiger up here. Though not quite what I would have expected. We went a little bit beyond this kind of ring of lakes. All the way over to the west side, this tiny little lake here. And she's drinking just over on the far end. So I think rather than have her attack us, we'll probably just try to get this. You can see her like she went attentive there and was testing the air. That's going to drop her though. Unfortunately, just female tigers today. But slowly but surely getting a better idea of where they're at and where to expect to find them. And I should probably also note, as we have a double lung and heart shot there, I do have a tiger guide in the plans for probably release day of the new map. Every tiger that I've shot, I've been screenshotting the location and keeping track of that pretty much to try to get a good idea of where the 16 home ranges are. I really like that a lot. The fact that it's so distinctly different, trying to decide on like a decent pose for them. I do wish you could see a little bit more of the shoulders on these mounts, but I mean, I don't even need to zoom in or anything. You can see it so, so well. Obviously, the mass on the one on the left is so much bigger. The one on the right, though, has that additional spread. 
to pretty much make up the difference in the score. He's 96.1, we'll call it. And this guy's 97.5, still a little bit bigger, and as he should be, but it's cool that that guy's in the same range. And we'll see where we go from here. Hopefully only upwards, hopefully more species, and hopefully things like the tiger, the munchak that we shot today, bear, sink, all that can lead to trophies down the road. Anyway, that is going to do it for this video. As always, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.